and to some more energy news now for years kenya has been planning on harnessing renewable energy in a bid to provide cost-effective power for its citizens and as ashley mazuri reports the government's hunger for foreign investors to support ongoing projects may be the only needed solution to ensure low power cost in the country the Jubilee administration has been spearheading efforts to bring down the cost of electricity by reducing the use of diesel power generators and turning its focus to green energy sources such as wind power, solar power and geothermal power. For the first time in our nation's history, we are also on target to connect one million households to the national grid in a single financial year, remaining on target to connect 70% of Kenyan households to electricity by 2017. By connecting market centers and rural households to power, we have significantly enhanced the basis for strengthening productivity of our rural economy. Whilst the state has been on a charm, offensive luring foreign investors, a good number have been forthcoming with the majority still holding back. According to the Energy Regulatory Commission, Kenya is estimated to possess over 7,000 to 10,000 megawatts of undeveloped power in the Great Rift Valley region. The country's vast potential has led to various partnerships with developed countries such as Germany, which has invested in Kenya's solar hybrid projects, and the United States, which has gained an interest in the country's wind power. According to the United States Ambassador Robert Godek, who held talks with Energy Cabinet Secretary Charles Keter, geothermal projects have a funding gap of 1.8 trillion shillings, a deficit that must be bridged if the country is to become a key investment hub. Although Kenya is among countries taking a lead in exploration of clean energy with at least 280 megawatts of geothermal power already installed on the national grid, the implementation of more projects is much needed to help the country achieve its Vision 2030 goal of increasing generation capacity to 23,000 megawatts by 2030 and 5,000 megawatts by this year. According to the United States Agency for International Development, hydroelectric energy contributes to 45%, thermal energy 24%, and other renewable energy contributes to 35% of Kenya's source of power. Ashley Mazuri, KTN Business.